Yeah. Yeah. Yvonne, I'm I agree. Certainly there for the context. Guardian now, Leo, and the correlation between following lockdown rules and subsequent <coughs> mental health. But I suspect we're probably all thinking the same thing, aren't we? Yeah, so people who stuck by co UK COVID rules have the worst mental health, says this survey. So some good news <laughs> at last. So, yeah, those who followed the restrictions most closely when the pandemic hit are the most likely to be suffering from stress, anxiety and depression. And they split people out into two different personality types. Mm. There's the communal personalities who are more caring, sensitive and aware of others' needs. <laughs> and they, obviously, they're all crying now. They're all depressed and anxious and stuff. And also, they say, there's, there's the other type, the, the agentic personalities or people yeah. who, who can wipe their own bum. Uh, and uh, they, they, don't really, they didn't follow the rules and they're, they're happy. They were happy then and they're happy now. Uh, but these uh, communal personalities, socialists, you know, the low-earning yeah. fat people mostly. They did what they were they, told and now they're miserable. They did what they're told and now they're miserable. The, and also, the song says. also it says, the researchers say they, they, they found it difficult to make the transition from receiving regular exhortations about following public health advice during yeah. the pandemic to no advice when the lockdown ended. Now, this so they is couldn't not, deal. They couldn't deal with the lack of being told what to do. But this is not new. This is this is uh, textbook institutionalisation, isn't it? And yeah. it's exactly what happened. I, I know, I won't mention a name, but there was a comedian once who was in one of those kind of... Um, uh, reality shows, a little bit like Big Brother, but it was one where you you had to learn some skills like tap dancing or whatever. And and when he was, and that was like a like a fortnight he was on there, you know. Yeah. And you and you live in a sort of boarding school basically, and you get woken up every morning and and you learn your you know. And when it ended, he was like depressed. He had, right. he had found that so much more reassuring than having to be responsible for his own life right. and decisions. You know? Yeah, people don't want and freedom. And that's, that's a comedian. I think it's a, a vastly more um, prevalent condition. You know, a lot yeah. of a lot of men say, uh, a lot of people say that when men when are widowed, uh, they struggle because because somebody else, you know, <laughs> not telling them what to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. And it sounds the, ridiculous because yeah. but also there is a I can't remember which book it is in. They say that the the two main personality types are the dependent or the Independent, that's what we think of, right? That's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's basically but what there is, there is a third one, which is the interdependent, which is what you want to be. That's like basically when you knit your community together and yet maintain some degree of autonomy. Yeah. And I mean, it sounds, you know, sensible enough. There's also anti dependent, it. which is why a lot of my relationships haven't lasted. But, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but just to put a bit, a bit of balance on this one as well, uh, the Tories didn't stick to lockdown rules and now they look miserable. So maybe there's more to this. <laughs> that's true. Although that's because they're, you know, they're about to lose an election. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly.